My wife, when I was actually sick, my wife was very active on, on social media and updating um, friends and family, but also at the same time making sure that she was using that as an opportunity to, to tell people, you know, my husband's 29 years old and he's in the hospital with COVID. I was under the assumption that if I got it, it would just be like the flu and it would be fine. Um, turns out I, I learned the lesson the hard way that that's, that's not what it is and not what it was for me. For some reason in that moment, um, I, I didn't have any hesitations at all. Um, it was you know, brought to my attention that I, w I was needed for, for research to understand what was happening and nothing about that caused any hesitation for me at all. I was willing to help and, and knew that you know, with, with UAB being so prestigious in, in medicine that I knew I would be taken care of really. He had no idea what he was getting, and this is an early phase study, um, so he really brave, incredibly brave, incredibly selfless. Um, I really hope he got the active drug, um, but even if he didn't, it sounds like he you know, managed to have a great outcome. Our ability to uh, define and ultimately distribute cures totally depends on the generosity and community spirit of people like him. When I found out that the, the drug was approved by the FDA and that it was being distributed out, it was definitely an exciting time. Um, I felt that, you know, even if I was just a number in the game of research for it, um, I feel like any, any little bit of participation in something like that goes a long way. It was definitely, I think, eye-opening, not only to obviously my family, um, but a lot of the people in our community, um, I think, were impacted by by that story and a little bit more cautious in their day-to-day -day life and, and understanding the importance of you know staying at home and, and really taking care of themselves. <laughs>